Second Shemuel, chapter 6. And Dawid again gathered together all the chosen men of Yishra'el, thirty thousand. And Dawid arose and went with all the people that were with him from Baalei Yehuda to bring up from thence the Ark of God, where is called there the name of Yahweh of hosts that sitteth above the Keruvim. And they set the Ark of God upon a new cart and brought it out of the house of Avinadab that was in the hill, and Ozza and Achior, the sons of Avinadab, drove the new cart. And they brought it out of the house of Avinadab, which was in the hill, with the ark of God. And Achior went before the ark. And Dawid and all the house of Yisrael played before Yahweh with all manner of instruments made of fir wood, and with harps, and with psalteries, and with timbrels, and with castanets, and with cymbals. And when they came to the threshing floor of Nahorn, Ozar put forth his hand to the ark of God, and took hold of it, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against Ozar, and God smote him there for his error. And there he died by the ark of God. And Dawid was displeased because Yahweh had broken forth upon Ozar, and he called that place Pereth Ozar to this day. And Dawid was afraid of Yahweh that day, and he said, How shall the ark of Yahweh come to me? So Dawid would not remove the ark of Yahweh to him into the city of Dawid. But Dawid carried it aside into the house of Obed Hadom, the Geti. And the ark of Yahweh remained in the house of Obed Hadom, the Geti, three months. And Yahweh blessed Obed Hadom and all his house. And it was told King Dawid, saying, Yahweh hath blessed the house of Obed Hadom and all that pertaineth to him because of the ark of God. And Dawid went and brought up the ark of God from the house of obed Hadom into the city of Dawid with joy. And it was so, that when they that bear the ark of Yahweh had gone six paces, he sacrificed an ox and a fatling. And Dawid danced before Yahweh with all his might, and Dawid was girded, with a linen ephod. So Dawid and all the house of Yishrael brought up the ark of Yahweh with a rumbling roar and with the sound of the sounding horn. And it was so, as the ark of Yahweh came into the city of Dawid, that Michal, the daughter of Shaul, looked out at the window and saw King Dawid leaping and dancing before Yahweh, and she despised him in her heart. And they brought in the ark of Yahweh, and set it in its place, in the midst of the tent that Dawid had pitched for it. And Dawid offered ascending offerings and peace offerings before Yahweh. And when Dawid had made an end of offering the ascending offering and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of Yahweh of hosts. And he dealt among all the people, even among the whole multitude of Yishra'el, both to men and women, to every one a cake of bread, and a portion of flesh, and a cake of raisins. So all the people departed, every one to his house. Then Dawid returned to bless his household, and Michal, the daughter of Shaul, came out to meet Dawid, and said, How glorious was the king of Yishra'el today! who uncovered himself today in the eyes of the handmaids of his servants, as one of the vain fellows shamelessly uncovereth himself. And Dawid said to Michal, It was before Yahweh, who chose me above thy father and above all his house, to appoint me prince over the people of Yahweh 
over Yisrael. Therefore I will play before Yahweh. And I will be yet more vile than this, and will be base in my own sight. But of the handmaids of whom thou hast spoken, of them shall I be had in honour. And Michal, the daughter of Shaul, had no child to the day of her death.